Hello everyone around the world. Welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Bacalso Lovers Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, please don't forget to read your Bible every day and apply His words every day. So, Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Anytime He will take all His true believers in heaven. That's what we call the, the rapture. Otherwise, if you don't want to know about Jesus Christ, you can do that to as well. But without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. And then, I have also got words here that I've been posting only on my Facebook page. That is www.facebook.com slash AdrenalD. So guys, I have a word for you guys. So, I am, I would like to encourage you all to test the spirit behind these words and then always verify your bible because um i am just a human as you are that i will make mistakes so this is based on my understanding and based of what jesus said here in the bible so i would not like i don't want to add any words so the topic, this is God's word, letter A. The Holy Spirit spoke to me last January 21st or 21, 2023. The title of this message is The Great Event, The Rapture Will Take Place. So in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 34, 35, ESV, the word says, I tell you in that night, there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken and the other left. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 27 ESV or English Standard Version it says, And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth, to the ends of heaven. In Matthew chapter 24, verses 31 to 41, uh, no, sorry about that. Uh, chapter 24, verses 31, then verses 40 to 41, ESV or English Standard Version, it says, And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the meal, one will be taken and one left. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse, verse verses 16 to 17 again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 to 17 ESV or English standard, ver standard Version. It says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be cut up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will always be with the Lord okay the word says Paul okay Paul not Paul Paul repeated Mark's writing in the book of Mark chapter 13 verse 27 and Matthew's writing in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 31 and verses 40 to 41. Paul did not clarify about which first event will take place before the rapture of the church. True Christians only. All right. So only the true believer, only the genuine follower of Jesus Christ will be taken to heaven. That's what the Bible says. Right? So then let us read the following books that Jesus mentioned 
about his second coming. So, in the book of Luke, chapter 17 and 21. All right. So, in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 22 to 31, ESV, it says, And he said to the disciples, The days are coming when you will desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. And they will say to you, look there, or look here. Do not go out or follow them. For as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in this day. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation, just as it was in the days of Noah. So will it be in the days of Son of Man? Of man, there they were eating and drinking and marrying and be and being given in marriage until the day until the day when Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, on that day, let the one who is on the house stop with his goods in the house not come down to take them away. And likewise, let the one who is in the field not turn back. In the book of Luke, chapter 21, verses 8 to 27, ESV, or English Standard Version, it says, And he said, See that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear of wars and tumults, do not be terrified, for these things must first take place but the end will not be at once then he said to them nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom there will be great earth earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilences and there will be tears and great signs from heaven but before all this day will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and presence, and presence. And you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. There will be, this will be your opportunity to bear witness. Settle there in your minds. No, settle in Settle it, sorry about that, guys. Settle it, therefore, in your minds not to meditate beforehand how to answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up, even by parents and brothers and relatives and friends, and some of you, they will put, uh, some of you, they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake. But not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains and let those who are inside the city depart. And let not those who who are out of the country, enter it. For there are days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written. Alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. For there will be great distress upon the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by, by the edge of the sword and be led captive among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles and the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled and there will be signs in sun and moon and stars and on this earth distress of nations 
in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves. People fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So, in the book of Mark, chapter 13, verses 5 to 27, ESV, it says, And Jesus began to say to them, See that no one lets you astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and we will lead many astray. And when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. These are but the beginning of the birth pains. But be on your guard, for they will deliver you over to councils, and you will be hidden in synagogues and you will stand before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the gospel must first be proclaimed proclaimed to all nations and when they bring you to trial and deliver you over do not be anxious beforehand what you are to say but say whatever is given to you in that hour for it is not you who speak but the holy spirit and brother will deliver brother over to death and the father his child and children will rise against parents and have them put to death and you will be hated by all for my name's sake but the one who endures to the end will be will be saved but when you see the abomination of desolation standing there standing where he ought not to be let the reader understand then Let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is in the house top not go down, nor enter his house to take anything out, to take anything out. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to his cloak. And the last for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that it may not happen in winter, for in those days there will be such tribulation as has not been from the beginning of the creation that God created until now and never will be and if the Lord had not cut short the days no human being would be saved but for the sake of the elect whom he chose he shortened the days and then if anyone says to you look here is Christ look here he is, do not believe. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect. But be on guard, I have told you all things beforehand. But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. And the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in heaven and the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven in the book of matthew chapter 24 verse verses 4 to 41 verses 4 to 41 esv or english standard version it says and jesus answered them See that no one lets you astray. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead, lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. And these are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you'll be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate 
one another and many false prophets and arise led many astray and because lawlessness and will be increased the love of many will grow cold but the one who endures to the end will be saved and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come so when you see the abomination of desolate desolation spoken the by the prophet daniel standing in the holy place let the reader in understand then let those who are in judea flee, flee to the mountains let the one who is on the house top not go down to take what is in his house and let the one who is in the field not to turn back to his cloak and alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days pray that your flight may not be in winter or on sabbath for there will be uh there will be had great revelations such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now no and never will be and if those days had not been cut short no human being would be saved but for the sake of the elect those days will be sh will be cut short and if, then if anyone says to you look here's the christ or here there he is or do not believe it for false pro christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray if possible even the elect see i have told you beforehand so if they say to you he is in the wilderness do not go out if they say look he is in the inner room do not believe do not believe it wherever the car curse is there will there the vultures will gather immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken then will appear in heaven the sign of, of the son of man and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven and with the power and great glory and he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other from the fig tree learn its lesson as soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves you know that summer is near so so when you all this when you again so also when you see all these things sorry about that you know that he is near at that very gates truly i say to you this generation will not pass away until all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but concerning that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of heaven nor the son but the father only for as we were the days of noah so will be the coming of son of man for us in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day when noah entered the ark and they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away so will be the coming of the son of man then two men will be in the field one will be taken and one left two women will be grinding the meal one will be taken and one left are you read after uh, sorry after you after you listen or after i read all of these books from different authors from different authors you may decide which event will take place so is the rapture will take place first or the great tribulation will take place first before the rapture so in my own understanding that the great tribulations are the first one that will occur before the armageddon because during the armageddon the true christians who will be taken to heaven will come back on earth with jesus christ and be the viewers and now jesus will defeat millions of 
armies around the world who will try to fight with them during the Armageddon. So some preachers did not include what Jesus was talking about the events before the rapture. So these preachers are not studying well. Again, these preachers are not studying well of Jesus' teachings. And they are not helping the true believers to get ready for the upcoming great tribulations. I don't want to force anyone on what I understood of Jesus' teachings. I just believe and follow the events that Jesus mentioned in the book of Luke, Mark, and Matthew about the angels gathering the elect, this is the true Christians, true believers that are mentioned in the in the book of Mark and Matthew. So this is the rapture event. You must be very careful of who you are listening to. Otherwise, you will miss out the great event that is the rapture of the true Christians or true Christian churches around the world. You can watch below my YouTube channel and encourage you all to do all your own study and research and let the Holy Spirit guide let the Holy Spirit guide you, teach or mentor you about the words of God. You don't want to be left behind. The people who will be left behind will suffer and experience the great wrath of God that are mentioned in the book of Revelation. So that these people will beg for, the, for their death, but they will not die. So I encourage you guys, again, I encourage you all to study, study, go deeper, uh, read your Bible, place words so that you will not miss the your departure from earth that's what we call the rapture all right guys so i don't want to force you guys to to uh to believe me because this is this is based on my understanding of what jesus mentioned in the bible because other preachers mentioned about like oh the, the rapture will will take place and um before the great tribulation, but you know what? That's what they say. That's what they're understanding. But I only follow what the Bible, what Jesus said. So his, you know, his uh, order. Um, you will just follow. I encourage you all to just follow what Jesus said in the Bible. You know, not the other people, but Jesus, because his words never return void. So guys, that's the word for today. If you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You're not going to die today or tomorrow without Jesus Christ. You will go to hell. Not purgatory, but in hell. All you have to do is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, and then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer. You can pray along with this simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, Please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But if you are still refusing Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written and the book of life was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, take this as a warning and invitation. So you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.